Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I'm wearing very minimal makeup because this video is not focusing on makeup, we're talking about hair. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys about my very first diva cut and what I'm now doing to take care of my curly hair. I'm gonna go over all of the products that I'm doing along with my current routine and you know, incorporating the advice that I got from my diva stylist. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell icon so you're actually notified whenever I post a new video. It's like so weird seeing myself without like eyeshadow or eyeliner, but we We'll get over it. <laughs> so I actually just got my first diva cut last night. I got back from the salon and then I pineappled and slept on my hair. So this is what my hair currently looks like. It is a lot shorter <laughs> than I thought it was going to be, but I'm not mad about it at all. They did their best to preserve the length, but I had a lot of damage. I had a lot of split ends. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that a few months ago, I did, not a few months, I think it's almost a year now ago, I tried to do an under on the bottom of my hair so I did bleach out the bottom half of my hair so that is very very damaged already as well I do have some pretty incredible before and after photos so I'll go ahead and throw those up here so you guys can take a look at what my hair looked like right as I got to the salon and then what it looked like right after I was finished I will say they do recommend for your appointment that you wash your hair the morning of or right before not right before you go but before you go as long as you give yourself enough time to have it fully dry they want your hair clean fully dry detangled with no product in it at all and this is because they want to see the way your hair is naturally and in its most poofy natural state that way they can cut it like that and then the rest is going to be styling so at the very minimum they know if you don't do anything to your hair this is what it looks like so they want to cut it in that state which i think makes a hell of a lot of sense i've never gotten my hair cut like that before I've been blow drying and straightening my hair for years and years and years so this was the first time I actually got my hair cut and what they do is they cut your hair dry. I don't have any pictures of the cutting or of the consultation. The consultation was actually fairly quick. I think because of the state that my hair was in, they assumed I really didn't have a routine or anything because they didn't ask me what products I was using or what I was doing to it. They kind of just asked me, okay, so what do you want out of your hair? Which I still appreciated. Um, so I said that I had, I'll show a picture of the before. My hair was just really flat. It had no layers. It had no life to it. It was clearly hair that was cut to be straight that was being worn curly and in order to actually embrace my curls I wanted a haircut for curly hair I also wanted I just wanted some layers I wanted some bounce and I didn't want anything that was going to be too like hot or crazy in the summer so I didn't want bangs I got like a nice kind of swoop bang like this which I'm totally fine with I didn't want anything that I couldn't put up either in a pineapple or in a pony Detail. So after we talked about what I wanted and he just did a quick consultation with my hair and was like you have some great curls He talked about how he didn't really want to get rid of too much length because there was still body in my curls Despite spending the last 12 years blow drying and straightening them So he really just wanted to focus on the shape because I was very like Hermione Granger triangle poof before and what we really wanted to do was shape it so it did look a little crazy at first but we kind of finger brushed through my hair and he started curl he started cutting not curl by curl but like with really small sections I think he was doing like two or three curls at a time and by doing that he did this side first and actually shaped it and then brought all my hair to the front and you could see that this side actually had a shape and looked so much nicer while this was like a triangle of poof and it was like at that point where I was like, oh, this was such a good idea. Like, I'm really glad that I did this. So he cut this half of my hair first and then he went and cut the other side. And as he was going, he would always come to the front, pull everything up and like double check and cut a curl here or there if it didn't really match or if it was kind of a little bit unruly. After that was, or after like the main cut was done, I was then handed off to someone else for the washing and for most of the styling. And this was the time or this was the part of the appointment that took the most time because they really do spend a lot of time 
washing your hair, explaining what they're doing while they're washing your hair, conditioning, styling, and then drying. So I had a really nice young woman, I think she was around my age, who was doing my hair. She washed it first with the Diva Curl and No Poo, which I currently have, and I said how I was using that, and she said that was really good, that's what they recommended for my hair. She shampooed, did a nice scalp massage, and then we moved on to the conditioner where I actually learned a couple of things, believe it or not. She conditioned my hair, she didn't touch my scalp. I've always been one to the first thing I do is condition right here and then I work it down. <laughs> I know it's not really what you're supposed to do but I don't know why I kept thinking that's what I had to do and she explained to me we're just conditioning from like your eyebrows down so you're really just going to condition here, work it through, leave it in and then when they wash it out they don't actually rinse out all the conditioner at least not for me i think my hair was dry enough that they recommended this technique that i will definitely be following in the future they rinse out all the conditioner except for like 15 percent of it and there's a specific way that your hair feels afterwards she actually had me like reach back and feel how it felt there's a little bit sudsy and once it hits that point, they said like stop rinsing it out and just leave that amount of conditioner in your hair. They also really recommend putting your like um, styling products or your gels on while your hair is dripping wet in the shower. I've been, for the past couple of weeks, I've seen great improvement by keeping like a spray bottle and up here in my room when I do my hair, I'll spray it to make sure it is still wet and then I put the gel in. And even doing that, it's my hair's looked a lot better but by putting the product in while my hair was still like sopping, sopping wet, and then drying it, like scrunching it and drying it with the product already in there, the results are phenomenal. And I didn't really think about doing that. So they actually recommended that I keep whatever gel I'm using in the shower, and then as soon as you're done like rinsing out that much of the conditioner, immediately scrunching in the gel. After that, they actually had me plop my head over and they scrunched more of the product in and dried my hair that way. After that, they didn't really touch my hair. They put my hair, they had me flip my hair back and then I stayed like this and I went under a dryer. I do have a picture of the dryer right here. It was really fancy and cute. Um, so I dried under the dryer for about 30 minutes just because my hair was so thick. It did take that long to dry to about 90%. They wait until your hair is about 90, 80% dry, and then they have you flip over and they diffuse your hair. And I was actually really happy. They have the exact, or she was using the exact same diffuser that I bought on Amazon. I will link it down below. It is this diffuser right here. It's actually a travel diffuser, so it squishes together like this. But I saw the brand and I saw that it was the exact same diffuser. So she did use this diffuser on my hair after the dryer was done. And I really learned a lot too from the way they diffused my hair because the way I had been doing it I was kind of like scrunch and then move and then scrunch and then move they really flip your hair over and then they leave it in each section for a good like three four minutes before moving on to the next one and that's something that I really didn't know a whole lot about because even with all the videos on YouTube and with all the articles no one really has a here's exactly how you diffuse like for dummies <laughs> video out there so if you guys want to see a diffusing video I don't know how much demand there is for that but I would be interested in actually putting together a video like that because that was the one thing that I was looking for because I really had no idea how to diffuse. After diffusing and having everything dry my stylist came back and actually flipped my hair over oh, oh, can I speak? Flipped my hair over again and just kind of shook it out because it was a little bit crunchy but after shaking it out and looking at it it looked beautiful he then just kind of he made sure my part was the way that i liked it and just kind of shaped the hair and then just did a last check to see if there were any curls out of place and this was the final result i'll go ahead and throw another picture of my before just so you guys can get a good look at it and this is the after I was really happy with the products that they used. They actually used another Diva Curl gel called the Archangel gel. I really was interested in getting a bottle of about this size of it, but they only had like the gigantic bottle in the salon and I didn't want to get that big of a bottle. So I didn't get that. I did pick up the conditioner. So I did pick up a big bottle of the conditioner because I know that I wanted that. And I already had the shampoo, so I had the two big 
bottles of shampoo and conditioner. I didn't want to get a big thing of the gel before really trying it out and because I already have one of their gels. This is the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. It is the green and purple bottle. This is not the strongest hold, but it is a strong hold. And I've been really liking this one, but it's already half empty, so I feel like I would go through that pretty fast. If you want more information on the pricing and on the salon and everything, I will include everything, including my stylist, down below. So now we're going to move into what products that I am currently using. They did recommend that I use a protein treatment on my hair because it was so damaged and I already have one. I have the Deep Sea Repair from Diva Curl. This is a seaweed strengthening mask, but it does, it is a protein treatment, so you really can't use it for longer than 20 minutes max make sure you wash it out then and really only use it like once every other week ish or like every 10 days i am trying to con deep condition my hair once a week so i have been using the diva curl melt into moisture for that this was a 100 point park at sephora so i currently have like five of these little bottles and i've been loving this as a deep conditioner i've also really been liking the rmb hair moisturizer from lush i used this the first time i deep conditioned and I love it. It's amazing. It also smells incredible. I love it. So what I do to deep condition, I shower. With my hair soaking wet, I will soak it with the deep conditioner, put it up in like a 99 cent, I can't remember words right now, a 99 cent like plastic hair cap, and then I put on a heat cap. I got one based on Bianca Renee today's recommendation. So you microwave it, it's got like flax seeds in it, so you microwave it for 30 seconds, flip it inside out, microwave it for another 30 seconds, and then you just put that on top and leave it for 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes, I just go back into the shower. I don't go fully into the shower. We have a removable head, so I just kind of dunk my head in and rinse it all out, and then I style like normal. And for styling, I've just been <laughs> loading my hair up with a whole bunch of gel. So the gel that I've actually really been liking the most, another recommendation from Bianca Renee today, has been the Curl Keeper Ultimate Hold with Frizz Control Gel. I haven't tried it on my new like haircut since this is still the style that they gave me at the salon, but before I got my haircut, this actually made my hair look beautiful. So I think it's gonna do nothing but amazing things to my nice new cut. I've also been using, like I said before, the Diva Curl Gel, but I think I go through it too quickly. Not that the Curl Keeper is cheap, it's still like up there, but it's not as expensive as the Diva Curl one. So that is where I'm at currently, post first Diva cut. My stylist said I don't have to get another cut for like another five or six months. So I will be um, deep conditioning once a week, keeping up with the upkeep. Oh, and then sleeping. Let me tell you guys how I sleep. I use the old school scrunchies and I put my hair all the way up like this and then I have a sleeping cap. So that is how I slept last night. And then when you take your hair out of the ponytail, it just falls back curly. I just love the way that spring, 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 spring. I also just love the way that my hair feels right now. It feels really healthy. It feels really light and bouncy and I'm really happy that I went through and got this diva cut. So thank you so much for watching. Hope if you liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Hit the little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye.